You are watching Coin Collecting Fun. You are so awesome. Coin Collecting Fun, where it is all about you. You and more you. Coin Collecting Fun, the king of hobbies and the hobby of kings. It's not about me. It's not about my. It's not about mine. It's about you. And that is why this video is made especially for you. So let's look through $1,000 and $20 bills together, focusing primarily on the serial numbers to see if we find any unique notes in the stack. And after this video is over, check out the link below this video in the description section to see a cool coin from the Philippines. That video is currently the most liked video on this channel with over 860 likes. Let's see if we can get that video to 1,000 likes. It is also the most viewed video on this channel with over 60,000 views. Let's see if we can get that video to 100,000 views. And it is also the most commented on video with over 2,400 comments, I believe. Let's see if we can get that video to over 5,000 comments. If you enjoy this type of content, go ahead and crush the like and subscribe buttons. Leave a comment and when subscribing, tap the notification bell to be notified of future coin collecting fun videos just as soon as they're uploaded to YouTube. Now let's go ahead and look through the stack and see if we find anything special. Now this note right here is almost what is considered to be a trinary note. A trinary note is when you have just three numbers that make up the entire note, which in this case you can see a bunch of nines, a two, and a three. So if that seven was a nine, a two, or a three instead of a seven, then that would make that a trinary note. Well, would you look at that? Sequential notes, you can see that the last three digits are 997, and the one in back is 996. you look at that another set of notes here that are sequential you see the note in front ends with 950 the one in back ends in 949 so those are printed literally one right after the other and so we see 949 in front the note in back ends in 948 some more sequential notes Actually, taking a closer look at this one here, we see that this one's almost a trinary note. I think just the number six right there throws it off because what I'm seeing is uh, a note made up of the number five, the number three, and the number two. So if that six was a five, a three, or a two instead of a six right there, then that would make this note a trinary note meaning that just three numbers make up the whole serial number. This note as well is almost a trinary note. You can see the numbers uh, two, five, and four make up almost the entire serial number. So if that one was either a two, a five, 
or a four instead of a one right there, then that would make this note a trinary note. Same with this one. This one is almost a trinary note. Almost is not quite good enough, but you can see that uh, this note is made up mostly of sixes, threes, and twos. So if that one was a six, a three, or a two instead of a one right there, then that would be a trinary note. So I will not be collecting that. Almost is not good enough to collect. It has to actually be a trinary note. Would you look at this one? This one is almost a trinary note as well. We're seeing a lot of almost in this stack here. You can see that this note is made up mainly of the number zero, the number eight, and the number three. Those are the three numbers that make most of this note up. So if that seven right there had a zero, an eight, or a three in its place instead of that seven there, then that would be a trinary note. Close but no cigar, as they say. It's kind of a neat little pattern there. A couple of fours, a couple of fives, a couple of nines right next to each other. 44, 55, 99 all right next to each other. Don't think there's anything collectible about that one, but it is pretty close to a collectible note. Like maybe it'd be collectible if, uh, you know, it had uh, zeros at the end there, you know, nines and then starting over again at zero. So if that that one right there was a zero instead of a one, and it looked pretty neat. You'd see a couple of fours, a couple of fives, a couple of nines, and a couple of zeros. I would definitely hold on to that if that were the case.
right, that's the last one. Thank you so much for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And again, check out the link below this video in the description section to see a cool coin from the Philippines. And drop a like and leave as many comments as you'd like on that video. Thank you so much again for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And have a great day.